Okay, so... Whoa! Oh, I screwed up. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Hello everyone and welcome! I am Hot for Creature, and today I will be playing the demo for Stifled, which is a upcoming survival horror game, which the mechanic is based primarily off of echolocation. Uh, so basically, you can't really see anything unless you're making noise with your microphone, so it relies on having a microphone to actually play it, and a few in-game mechanics like coughing or something. But it's supposed to be very scary, so without further ado, we're gonna start a new game here, and we're gonna, you know, we're gonna see how it goes. So I might have to be quiet at certain times, I apologize in advance for that. Um, the, the bad guys get you if they can hear you. I'll let you guys, uh... Listen into what's going on here. As we start. There was a car accident, I think, is what happened. Oh. It's never good. What do we got here? Alright, so we have controls that make sense, at least. So this is, uh, controller capable, which is really nice if you have, like, an Xbox controller or something. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, if I could just pick it up. What? Wine? Rose? Oh. Speak into the microphone to make a sound pulse. Hello! Oh my goodness, this is really interesting. Okay. Um... Tap RT to make a small sound pulse, and hold and release RT to make a larger sound pulse. Uh, okay, so... Hello! Whoa! Is this a gun? Oh, no. <laughs> that is just blood. Please forgive me, it looked like a gun from over here. You can't even say that you did not think that it looked like a gun. So, um, yeah. Anyway, uh, it's nice that it has controller capability, uh... Gives you the ability to use an Xbox controller if you, uh, if you have one, so that is good. So I guess you can just throw things to make noise further. So this is really, uh, I want to say beautiful. It's, it's an interesting concept how they made this happen, but it's basically everything's just kind of outlined. It's, it looks pretty similar to Limbo. I'm not exactly sure where I'm supposed to be going here, though, because it looks like this is a bit of a dead end because we got this water. I don't really want to drown in this, but I guess I'll stick my face in it. Okay, so we can't go up there. But, uh, yeah. This is gonna be, uh, a, a frightful time, apparently. So the way it works is the enemies, uh, they, they don't know you're there. What did I just blow? They don't know you're there unless you're making noise, but you need to make noise to navigate the game. <clears throat> so you'll find that, I guess it's going to be a particularly frustrating time. Ooh, can I go up this way? This looks like, uh, a way we can go here. Hello? Oh, yeah. Okay, check this out. Okay, so we got a staircase here. That's progress, right? Make our way up here. Oh, it looks like we're following some blood here. That looks a little bit like, uh, looks a little bit like a gun. Like a rifle on the ground at a particular angle. So I'm pretty excited for this game. It is... Oh! Okay. What is, what's going on here? You're cutting me off from my commentary here. Trying to talk to the viewers about the game. Comes out December uh, 16th. Today is, what, the 6th? So it's coming out very, very soon. Uh, which is very exciting. So I will definitely be probably... Well, I'm going to say I'm definitely going to be doing a full playthrough of this game as soon as it releases. Uh, because I'm already enjoying it. Um, so far. And I haven't even gotten this that far into this demo. I do not know how long of a demo it is. Oh my god, we got like a labyrinth here. So I can go two ways here. There go. Uh, never mind. So I guess you don't necessarily need a microphone to play this game because of, uh, the fact that you can just make noises in-game with your character. You can cough. But I'm really curious as to, like, what the story is behind this. Like, uh, what the circumstances are in which... You know, they, they make it so that you can't see anything without echolocation. It's a r <laughs> Oh. So it's not heavy on the jump scares, which I... Oh. Which I heavily, uh, appreciate. Oh, we got a shoe here. I'm gonna pick that up. Uh. Hello. 
because uh, as you guys may have seen in previous videos on my channel, the, the, the jump scares tend to really get me. Which wasn't always a thing. I was usually always the one to show my friends the videos of the jump scares and try and get them with them. You know, the old E-bombs world, you know, classics and such. The maze game, and you guys, you, you guys remember, you, you know, you, you know them, you know the videos, and the games, the games with the jump scares, and the videos, YouTube videos, all the classics, the YouTube gold, we, we got them, oh, okay, so, whoa, oh, I screwed up, I made a mistake, I made a mistake, I made a mistake, what was that, okay, Oh my god, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> okay, so so they do the same thing. So are they blind? Okay, so they're blind without without uh sound as well. But it seems like you can sort of navigate this game without the need for really doing anything well, uh, for the most part. The walking gets enough done. You get like a you know that occasional pulse, which helps you see a little bit, which is kind of nice. But anyway, as I was saying, the uh, the jump scares tend to get me now a days a little bit more than they used to, which is not you know always good. Good for you guys at least. I was I was just crouch walking through that entire experience. I really didn't think I need. I don't think I needed to do that. So sorry guys. I'm trying. All right, so this is loud enough. As I what? Oh. Oh, I see. I saw something. What happened? Oh. Is that it? Well, okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Feel free to tune in for the entire playthrough when this game drops. Uh, it is going to be dropping very soon, and I will be playing the entire thing. I hope it is longer than this, scaled. I hope it is a longer game than, like, an hour. That would be good. So, thanks for watching, guys. Tune in for the uh, entire playthrough, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.